Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Rolling With Rocks, official 2024 MLB postseason predictions. Uh, we have four series that are getting underway tomorrow in the wild card in the American League. The Detroit Tigers, the sixth seed, are taking on the Houston Astros, the three seed. Uh, that is the early game tomorrow, and I am actually predicting that the Detroit Tigers will dethrone the Houston Astros and their run, and we will get the Detroit Tigers in the ALDS, uh, taking on the Cleveland Guardians. In the other American League wildcard series, the Kansas City Royals visits Baltimore, Maryland, and the Orioles. Uh, I believe the Baltimore Orioles will win this series. The Tigers will take three games to beat the Houston Astros. The Orioles will take two games to defeat the Kansas City Royals. In the National League wild card, the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves both got into the playoffs thanks to splitting the doubleheader today. The first game of the doubleheader was an all-time classic game, especially in the 8th and ninth inning. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but the New York Mets will be traveling to Milwaukee to take on the Brewers, while the Atlanta Braves will be traveling to San Diego to take on the San Diego Padres. I believe that the Brewers will beat the Mets in three games, and I believe that the Padres will beat the Braves in two games. Uh, so both the three seed and the four seed will move on to the NLDS. The only lower seed I have winning in the wild card round is the Detroit Tigers. In the ALDS, the Cleveland Guardians will host the Detroit Tigers. Uh, I once again think that the Detroit Tigers will take that series. It is a five game series. I believe the Tigers will need all five games. Uh, but Tarek Skubal will be a just a super weapon for Detroit. Their Detroit's entire pitching staff is more talented than people give them credit for. Uh, and they have been hot going into the playoffs for the most part. So I think that Detroit will beat Houston in three and then Cleveland in five. Uh, for the other ALDS matchup between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees, I believe that the Baltimore Orioles will take that series in four games. So the Baltimore Orioles will defeat the New York Yankees in four games, which will leave us with an American League Championship Series of the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers. Uh, but getting back to the National League, we have the number two Philadelphia Phillies hosting the number three Milwaukee Brewers. And I have the Brewers winning that in four. Actually, no. I'll say five. I'll say the Milwaukee Brewers will beat the Philadelphia Phillies in five games. And in what some may consider an upset, uh, but it is it is of my opinion that money does not buy you a championship. The San Diego Padres upset the number one seed in all of the postseason, the Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm almost wondering if it even goes five, to be honest. I, I I trust San Diego's pitching more. It may go four, it may go five. I'm going to predict four. I think San Diego wins that series. San Diego has Luis Awai, they have Manny Machado. They have um, really, really good pitching with Dylan Cease. And I, I, I don't get me wrong. LA can go, go with them name for name, for sure. They've got Otani. They've got Freddie Freeman. They've got Mookie Betts. You know, they they've got superstar after superstar after superstar. Um, <laughs> no, that was that was a Phillies player that you showed me that. I think, um, but yeah, no, it was, it was a funny joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have the San Diego Padres upsetting the Los Angeles Dodgers. So our ALCS is Detroit and Baltimore, the six and the four. Our NLCS 
is Milwaukee and San Diego are three and are four. And in the ALCS, I have the Baltimore Orioles beating the Detroit Tigers. It is a seven game series. So you need to you need to win four. And Scooble's going to pitch a couple of those, but so is Burns. I think Baltimore would take five or six games to, to beat Detroit. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play safe and say six. It will take six games to beat Detroit for the Baltimore Orioles for them to go to the World Series. And in the NLCS, as much as I want to see the... I, I think I personally would rather see the Brewers. I don't think the Brewers can beat the Padres in a big series. So I would have the San Diego Padres defeating the Milwaukee Brewers probably also in six games. Uh, so in our World Series would be a couple of four seeds on both sides. The Baltimore Orioles versus the San Diego Padres. And obviously I'm a Baltimore fan. I'm going to pick the Baltimore Orioles to win the World Series. Uh, but San Diego with Dylan Cease, with Manny Machado, with Luis Arai, they are going to put up a hell of a fight. And I would not be surprised if that series went seven games. San Diego has a ton of good talent, a ton of proven talent. And there's I don't see it being easy. There's going to be struggles, especially because the Orioles' bats can get cold at times. They are a super streaky team. I could see them just having a couple of stinker games. Um, but I'm going to take the Baltimore Orioles over the San Diego Padres in seven games to bring the World Series back to Baltimore for the first time in 41 years. Uh, long before, well, I will say long, a few years before I was born. <laughs> um, but that is my official prediction. Detroit beats Houston. Baltimore beats Kansas City. Detroit beats Cleveland. Baltimore beats New York. Baltimore beats Detroit in the American League. Milwaukee beats New York. San Diego beats Atlanta. Milwaukee beats Philadelphia. San Diego beats LA. San Diego beats Milwaukee in the National League. And then Baltimore beats San Diego in the World Series. And that, my friends, will do it for here on this Monday. Well, now Tuesday morning at 1.26 in the morning here. Uh, on the East Coast time zone. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to pace, to baseball. Uh, this is the first time in a very, very long time that the Baltimore Orioles have gone to back-to-back postseason uh, games, that are seasons. They haven't done that in an extremely long time. So I'm, I am very, very excited. The team... Had enough, had its ups and downs this year. It was not as easy as last year, but that may be a good thing going into the playoffs. Um, but there's a lot of great teams. Philadelphia is good, but I think they have a very, very obvious like they have a flaw. They've had a flaw for years. They tried to blame Craig Kimbrell for that flaw last year, and I just don't think they they didn't fix the problem because the problem wasn't K Craig Kimbrell. Um, they're going to struggle again. That's why I don't think they get past the Brewers. Uh, even if they get past the Brewers and it's the Brewers, if it's the Phillies instead of the Brewers against San Diego or Dodgers for that matter, I don't think they win that matchup. Um, it could be something crazy where the Mets go all the way to the World Series, just riding this high of getting into the playoffs. But I think San Diego is the, the, would be my favorite out of the West, out of the National League, um, followed by the Dodgers. So whoever wins that San Diego Dodgers series, I think represents the NL. I'm almost more concerned about Kansas City for the Orioles than the Yankees. Um, over the last two years, the Orioles have owned the Yankees. They really, really have. There's been a few games here and there where the Yankees have gotten wins, but the Orioles have had the Yankees number. Um, I think the Orioles are in Juan Soto's head, to be honest. He's always up there grumbling and mumbling and scooting. Like he thinks he's doing something, but he really, he really isn't. Um, I think they've gotten in Juan Soto's head. Judge is judge. He's going to hit home runs, 
the idea is either you walk him if you can, or you give up a solo shot. If you only give up a solo shot to Aaron Judge, then you almost can consider that a win. You just can't let him hit a multi multi run home run. Um, Cleveland's not a bad team. Cleveland one hundred percent could be Detroit. Uh, obviously, I'm in Detroit. I'm picking Detroit mostly because I want an ALCS, an ALCS between Detroit and Baltimore so I could go to a playoff game here in Detroit and see my Baltimore Orioles. Um, I could 100% see Cleveland. They, they've been the team, I think, that has been underrated by most experts all year. They've been steady in there in that top five, top ten just under the radar, just under where the Orioles and the Yankees were, or just, you know, like, they were never the team everybody was talking about, at least or for very long, but they were always right there. Cleveland's could 100% surprise us and make a run. They could be... The team I don't think has the... The team I think has the least chance is Houston. I I get this whole idea of the Houston being inevitable um, and all oh, the Houston dynasty for the last 10 years. I took it. I took Houston getting into the playoffs not because of what Houston did, but because of what Seattle did. Seattle choked. Houston would not be in the playoffs if Seattle didn't choke. And Houston got in just from sheer veteran presence and a little bit of luck. I don't think Houston beats Detroit. Detroit is a better team than Houston is. If somehow Houston beats Detroit... There's no chance in hell they beat Cleveland. Houston is not making the ALCS. That is just, I'm, I will, I will say that Houston's not making the ALCS. Kansas City is a slightly scary team, especially in a three-game series. They have three really good pitchers in uh, Cole Reagans, Seth Lugo, and Michael Walker. I actually wanted the Orioles to get Michael Walker because I thought he was a really good player, um, but. For what he's worth and where he is in the lineup. That's a really, really good three. The Orioles are going to throw Burns, Eflin, and Kramer. There's this talk that if the Orioles win game one, maybe they don't throw Eflin in game two. I think that's gamesmanship. I don't buy that. I think that's just Brandon Hyde and the Orioles be like, oh, you don't know, we might start Dean Kramer in game two. So that for some reason, the Royals can't prepare for Eflin. Um, I 100% think no matter if they win or lose game two, that, uh, Zach Eflin is throwing in game, uh, in lose, win or lose game one, Zach Eflin is throwing in game two for the Baltimore Orioles. You, you cannot play for the next series you're not in. You have to play for the series you're in. You have to win the wild card to move on the ALDS. You can't be worried about setting up your rotation for the ALDS when you haven't won in the wild card. I just, I refuse to buy in. Brandon Hyde, Mike Elias, their coaching staff, they are smart enough not to fall into that trap. This is games, gamesmanship from the Orioles. It's up to the Kansas City Royals to decide if they are going to buy into that or not. Um, again, the Yankees, I mean, the Yankees are the number one team in the AL. Yes, they have Aaron Judge. They have Juan Soto. They have Garrett Cole. They have other guys. Like, they, they have a good team. Yes. But they also have a lot of obvious holes. Like, Wells has been a great uh, improvement for them at catcher compared to what they were dealing with prior to Wells. But, you know, Chisholm's been Chisholm's been a great addition. For what they gave up to get Chisholm, that was a really, really good deal. But they still have problems in their infield. Shortstop's a whole hell of a problem because uh, they passed up on Gunnar Henderson and took Anthony Volpe. Eh. Um, wherever Chisholm isn't playing at second or third is a problem, in my opinion. Uh, first base is a problem for them. Left field is a problem for them. Hell, right field's a problem for them when Soto's out there because Soto can't play defense. He can only hit. I personally would much rather have an Anth uh, Anthony Santander in right field who could play defense and hit instead of a Juan Soto who might hit slightly better but plays defense like a freaking rock out there. Uh, I don't worry about... And then the Yankees pitching staff after Garrett Cole, I'm not worried about any of them. I'm not... Like, any of their healthy ones, I'm not... Like, Nestor Cortez was going to be a problem, but he got hurt, if I remember correctly. It's Cortez. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong pitcher. 
And then Luis Hill, he's had an awful second half. Now he could hold it around, and he played pitch well against the Orioles earlier in the year. But I'm not worried about the Yankees. It, I I think they 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 met their ceiling, and I think they fall. Um, Dodgers, I kind of explained. I don't. I won't be surprised if the Padres beat them. It's rivalry. It's you got two high caliber talent teams, two high money teams. I think whoever wins that does come out of the West. Uh, come out of the NL. I don't really think Atlanta has a shot to beat San Diego. Atlanta had a lot of trouble down the stretch. Um, they had trouble with KC at times. They had trouble with the Mets. They they, they had some troubles. Um, kind of the same with the Mets. I they could make a run. They could make a run. The Mets could one hundred percent make a run. I just don't think it's going to happen. And then the Brewers and the Phillies, like Phillies again, I covered them. They, I think they have a fatal flaw, and I don't think they get past the Brewers or the Mets. Um, but I think the Brewers are. I think the Brewers are going to sneak up on people. I think they're going to be the sneaky team in the NL. Um, I think everybody expects the Padres to do well. I don't think everybody expects the Brewers to do well. And I think a Brewers, Padres, and LCS could be really fun. And it's different teams. It's not the Dodgers. It's not the Phillies. It's not the, you know, it's not the teams that you expect every single year. Um, it's not the Braves. It's going to be, I think that would be a fun series between the Do the Padres and the Brewers. I think it would be a really fun series between Baltimore and Detroit, too. Um, but if Detroit loses to Cleveland... There's this fun thing that I've been deeming the Birdland Revenge Tour. Get revenge for being knocked out of the 2014 playoffs by the Kansas City Royals. Then we get revenge for being knocked out of the 2012 and the 1996 playoffs from the New York Yankees. Then we get uh, revenge for being knocked out of the 1997 playoffs by the Cleveland then Indians, now Guardians. And then pick your poison. Uh, with either the Mets or the uh, actually the Orioles beat the Dodgers and the Phillies, so it wouldn't be revenge for those teams. Uh, but the, I think the Mets are the only team on this list that the Orioles have actually lost a World Series to. Um, but yeah, the Birdland Revenge Tour is in full swing. Uh, first with KC and then New York and then potentially uh, Cleveland. And it could be a lot of fun. But my official picks are, once again, to wrap everything up, Detroit beats Houston, Orioles beat KC, Detroit beats Cleveland, uh, Baltimore beats New York, Baltimore beats Detroit, Milwaukee beats New York, San Diego beats Atlanta, Milwaukee beats Philadelphia, San Diego beats Los Angeles, San Diego beats Milwaukee, and Baltimore beats San Diego. Uh, and I, I, I know they're very, very different cities. But I feel like Baltimore and San Diego would be really, really cool places to see postseason baseball games. But that'll do it for me, friends. I'm going to get out of here. It is 1.36 in the morning. Thank you so much for sticking around for my MLB postseason video. Uh, if you see this clipped out and posted on social media things, let me know what your MLB predictions will be. And let's enjoy some October baseball because it is finally here after a very, very long season. Good night, everyone.